Three. Our other big story, an apparent change for the upcoming November race for Congress in the 2nd District. A judge has ruled independent candidate Sean Brown must be removed from the ballot. It comes after Democrats accused members of Republican incumbent Scott Taylor's staff forged signatures to help get Brown on the ballot, all in an attempt to weaken support for Democrats. Ten on your side's Andy Fox was at today's hearing in Richmond. Andy? Yeah, Anita, the judge was very concerned about the petitions, too much fraud and forgery. And when he got to the end of the hearing, he took Sean Brown off the ballot. Congressman Scott Taylor's staffer, Heather Goulet, was one of three who swore by affidavit she witnessed the signature of each person to get independent Sean Brown on the ballot. Goulet and five others took the fifth not to testify. I believe that the congressman said to his staff, Let's help Sean Brown get on this ballot. His staff went out and did what they did, which was evident from today. Taylor maintains he knew nothing about Ford signatures until it was brought to his attention after it had happened. Here is a sitting congressman who sits together with his staff to add a woman charged and indicted for fraud and add her to the ballot for the sole purpose of trying to help his election. Independent candidate Sean Brown disappointed with the judge's decision to take her off the November ballot because too many of the petition signatures were forged, taking her below the 1,000 threshold she needed for legitimate signatures. She plans to appeal to the state Supreme Court. I am still running as an independent candidate. I'm not in the independent party. so. You know, I'm asking for your vote. Also in court, Beck Cake with her wedding ring around her neck. Her husband's name appeared on the Sean Brown petition two months after he had died. I know he, he's looking down saying, you know, glad that this all turned out the, the right way because it was so disappointing to, to think that somebody could get away with using all those names that weren't right. Now, I reached out to Congressman Scott Taylor's office. They sent me this. Given the Democratic lawsuit was purely political, it is understandable that individuals exercise their right not to testify. It should also be noted that a criminal investigation continues in this case. In Richmond, Andy Fox, 